हेलो माई डे स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर गुड चिल्ड्रेन वी लर्न अबाउट अवर हाउसेज इन अवर नेक्स्ट चैप्टर चैप्टर सेवन चिल्ड्रेन ले स्टार्ट अवर चैप्टर विद रिसाइटिंग शॉर्ट पोएम द प्लेस वी लिव वी ग्रो इट्स अवर हाउस ओहसो इट कीप्स अस सेफ फ्रॉम रेन हीट एंड कोल्ड एंड प्रोटेक्टर्स as if we are gold children as you all know that we all are living in houses our house protect us from heat rain cold storm etc and save us from thieves also they also protect us from insects mosquitoes and other animals children do you know in ancient times where people used to live they live in a caves slowly they learned to build the houses using mud straw twigs leaves etc but nowadays in cities houses or bungalows all flat are made of cement bricks iron sand stones and wood these houses are called are known as a pakka house a pakka house is very strong and expensive it has doors windows made of glass wood and iron in villages houses are not so pakka or so strong because they are made up of mud and stone the houses made up of mud and stone are called kacha house heavy rains and winds can destroy them easily people make different houses according to their climate and the reason let's learn about some kacha house first huts hut is a kacha house made up of mud the roof of the hut is made of dry leaves straws and even mud tiles trailers some people do not have a permanent place to live in so they make their houses on the wheels that called trailers or caravans they use to move from one place to another houseboat some people live in houses which are built on boats such house floats on water these are called house boats igloos in the very cold places where the ground is covered with a thick snow people make houses with the snow blocks of ice such houses are called igloos tents houses can also be built with thick cloth such houses are called tents or camps sometimes on holiday trips etc people live in such places children as you all know that our house has many rooms and rooms have doors and windows a house consists of different kind of rooms like bedroom where we can sleep like drawing room where we welcome our guest like dining room where we sit together and have our meals like kitchen where we cook our food like bathroom where we get bath store room where we kept our extra things and use things in a store so this is all about the kacha house and pakka house